Thank you very much, um, Director of Ceremonies. Let me acknowledge Ambassador Dr. Kristin Kaseva Sata, former First Lady. I'm not sure why we should call these people former this, former that. I think she's the First Lady. That, that title really should stick as we call others presidents. I think First Ladies doesn't take away from those that are sitting uh, like her. So let me acknowledge Ambassador Dr. Christian Kaseva, First Lady, and the children, the children, family members, micro, but also extended family members. So we recognize you all. Let me recognize my colleagues, cabinet colleagues, and also provincial minister. Let me acknowledge vice presidents who have served this country. Uh, I've already altered the title, so not former vice presidents, but vice presidents who served our country. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I must also recognize my opposition colleagues in the House. And this our constitutional democracy, the choice of the people of Zambia, and leader of opposition in the House, members of parliament that are here. If I may also acknowledge I have seen the Attorney General there. I know also that we have our Royal Highnesses that are present and ministers today. I must also acknowledge the presence of senior government officials through the Secretary of the Cabinet, all of you who are present here but also local government through the mayor of Lusaka. So all of the structures under local government. Very important to acknowledge the clergy, or the clergy, as some would like to call them, for your availability all the time. Every time the nation needs you, you're here. I want to thank the church, the host church, which has hosted so many, many functions, irrespective of whether one is Adventist like myself, or New Apostolic, or Catholic. This has been a host to so many functions. I know presidents before me we're speaking from here in this church over many functions. So, and I want to ask the people of Zambia, we must not create unnecessary divisive conversations when it's really not necessary. Today, it is to offer our memories of President Sat, to celebrate his life. I must thank the family for allowing the government, our government, to conduct or to support this service, to support this service. Because that's a duty, that's a call of public office. Today is us, tomorrow it will be others. So our country runs. So thank you to the family, Ambassador Dr. Kaseva Santa, and your children. Thank you, Mulenga, for coming, and Casolos, to join this family to celebrate our fifth president. 
Michael Chilufisata. We are very delighted to be part of this gathering today, and I do know what some of the speakers have said, expressing our appreciation, their appreciation of the President being present here. It's a duty, a very noble duty for us, a very important duty. If there are other competing activities today, they had to be put aside for us to be here, for us to be here together with the family and as a nation. In fact, I just flew in this morning from where I was. Um, again, just a message to the nation, it's time for everything. Today, I repeat, is to remember MC Sad is to cherish of course, his memories, but also to remember what he did, not just for the family, not just for the group in Pika, but the group in Muchinga, we, the group in Northern, in Luapula, in Eastern, in Northwestern, in Western, in Southern, in Central, in Lusaka province. Ten provinces of our beloved country. The day just to remember Mr. Sat and all that he did to sacrifice for all of us. And I sit in these functions, I, list, I listen very attentively to all the messages that were spoken here, including the homily, that the journey is short. It's too short. We live 70 years, as the Bible says. Anything above 70 is a bonus. But years move fast. So I want to thank this congregation for being part of this memory and heritage of Mr. Sat. Ten years looks like to some a long time, but to many, family included, such a short time. As one of the speakers said, ten is just a number, but memories live on. And just to confirm with the family that we continue sharing as a nation issues, challenges that affect the family as a people. Sometimes it's assumed others are aware of the challenges. Maybe yes, but not always. So sharing information, knowledge, must continue, as Mr. Sata would have done it in his ways. We are all different in his ways, and he would do it directly. He would do it in a non-ambiguous way, as we have heard. We all have a story to tell about Mr. Sata, because the family have a deeper knowledge of Mr. Sata. So but we thank him for having served not only his family, not only segments of this country, but the whole country in different roles. He had a long political career and he served this country in different ways, different roles. Many will remember the older ones when he was governor. Lusaka, as we have heard today. But all those memories collectively piece up the story of his service to our beloved country. And we say thank you to him, thank you to the family, 
as one said here, when he ascended to the presidency, there's always a feeling by the micro and sometimes extended family that you are being stolen away from them and now you will not pay attention to them. So we have heard from the family. Mr. Sata still had the time for the family. I hope my wife feels I have time for her and the other family members. But I say to her, in line, I believe, with Mr. Sata's beliefs, that in these roles, they're not actually easy. People assume that they're easy. There's an assumption out there that what Mr. Sata did, what we're doing, is easy. It's not easy. I say to her, remember, Ndi Mukabene, right? I'm now married to 20 million husbands. I'm their wife. Please, women, don't misunderstand my expression. <laughs> yeah, frankly speaking, it's not a gender argument. Since I'm the servant, we, he was the servant of the people. We are the servant of the people. It means we're subservient in the right way to the people of Zion. Collectively, all of them. Ten provinces, 116 constituents, districts, 156 constituencies. So I must say to you, for me, standing here, I'm aware that whatever we are doing today in public office is because the road, the path was curved for us. Starting with KK, may so rest in peace. FTJ, Aka Red Naka Black, may so rest in peace. President Mwanawasa, Vamuijo, may so rest in peace. President Rupia Band, may so rest in peace. And our fifth president, President Michael Shiluchisat. Obviously, President Lungo, we who are serving today stand on the shoulders of these and the women and the cabinets, including Minister Chenda, who spoke here. We who are presently serving cabinet, secretary of cabinet, cabinet ministers, PSs, everybody, this fellow speaking here, we stand on the shoulders of those that came before us. And we appreciate that. We thank those that came before us. I got the message of unity very clear. I think Zambians hear me preach the message of unity. One Zambia, one nation. One nation, one people. There is no substitute to unity. It doesn't exist. No matter how clever we think we are. Children of God made his, in his own image. Love is a prerequisite to succeeding in whatever we do. I say to my colleagues in cabinet, if you don't love what you do for the people, don't even try to, to work. Say to Kangwa there, because it won't work. So I think we agree to President Sata's message of love in diversity, unity in diversity, love, unity in diversity, but for the single purpose of saving our country better. So we celebrate President Sata for his beliefs and what he did, fly over bridges, we had infrastructure, we had and our commitment is to carry on from where President Sata left and others. That's our duty, inescapable duty, I must say. So, family once more, thank you for sharing Mr. Sata with us, with the people of Zambia. Some may not remember, I don't know where Ambassador Dr. Kaseva Sata was, 
that particular afternoon. I went with Musiwa there to Mr. Sata's house in Roadspark. I don't know where she, you were, madam. The house was empty that day. Probably he pushed out other people so that we could have a frank conversation there. <laughs> so, 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 and uh, took me in, told ah, you, Mulosh, sit here. HH and I have something to discuss. So first he showed me the house, including the kitchen, madam, your kitchen. <laughs> so obviously I think he was trying to make me comfortable. So then he chose a place we sat there. Says, hey, HH, we should make this thing work. I'm sure some of you know what that thing was. Trying to pull the country together. To carry the country forward. tried hard to work together to depolarize the country north south east west depolarize the country and so as we got talking so he said a couple of things instructive to me so i said ah, mr Zad, so one of the things we need to ask our teams uh, we were talking about the genders and others is for them to sit down and look at how we run the country best, the best. Says, ah, you're a calculator boy now, Tampakare. <laughs> Let's just get this thing going. You do your calculations later on. Now we have to work to win the people over so that we form government. Then you and your friends, you, you do your calculators. Says, okay, sir. All right, sir. Just a little tidbit. And meeting finished, and we walked. He walked us out, sir. Actually, to the car. So, this is the man we're remembering. All the things we've heard today, they all fit into who he was, depending on the angle when you first met him or the conversations you had with him. I think the important thing was the love for the country, to pull the country together. So thank you to all the speakers that have said things today. But I also want to thank Gerard Wazy for the wonderful music. Can we clap for this young man? You may take your seat. I listened to your singing, and there's great talent there. I'm not sure how we are supporting him in that area. But thank you for the wonderful songs remembering your, your father. I want to close by saying we have a lot to learn from Mr. Sat, all of us. But we also have a lot to do to get the country going. The things he wanted done, if you notice presidents come, do quite a lot of things, each president, Mr. Sata understood local government. He spent years in local government. I believe that's how Mr. Chenda and other others who became students of Mr. Sata politically. I think he was in the councils, local government, I believe. Yeah, Simwinga was in local government. Jack Mwimbu was in local government. Uh, Kabimba, Winter Kabimba was in local government. And so many. So you can see the decisions he was making when he was in the presidency around decentralization councils, new district councils. Many don't remember already. People forget quickly sometimes. Not all the times. I don't want to be accused someone in the media will carry a wrong story that they just said Zambians have no memories. No, 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 no. It is Mr. Sata who created 29 districts in his short time in the presidency because he understood local government. 
and its ability to help deliver. We untouch Jitukuk, Zuelopi, Wukomo, Lusumpuku to the people of Zan, including Naloro District, Manyenga Districts, Vowi, Rufunsa, Shibuyunji next door here. We who are in government today will carry on to realize full operations of those districts because that's our duty. I know we have work to do around those districts. It is Mr. Sata who made the decision, which nobody was courageous to make before him, to move the provincial capital of Southern Province from Livingstone to Choma. Everybody knew that Choma was more central, but they were scared of offending the people of Livingstone to move the district to Choma. True to Mr. Sata and how he did things when he believed in them, he just, just made an announcement that from today the capital moved from Livingstone to Choma. And today, the capital of that province is in Chom. We will continue working on the things that Mr. Sata believed in, including what Minister Chenda, you took note of. We know we are doing it for Mr. Sata, we are doing it for KK, we are doing it for many, free education, giving opportunities to every child irrespective of the parentage, the heritage, the history, single or double, often does not matter. We know that Mr. Sart, I think, would give us a tick on that one, as you say. CDF, you said it. It's part of fulfilling Mr. Sartre's decentralization local government agenda. And I would like Zambians to see some of these policies from the right context, not to fight over everything. And all MPs, councillors, mayors must fully utilize these facilities. We respect Mr. Sata and we were hearing, listening here, he would have continued doing those things. I, I think the numbers may have been different, but he would have continued doing those things. But also someone said something very important, which we share with Mr. Sata. In a country, we have to pay attention more to the people at the bottom. Cash for work, social cash transfer, for the people at the bottom. Pius and I can look after ourselves. But the people at the bottom, Pius. That is what I heard of Mr. Sade. So we share that passion as well. So sometimes we come from different angles, but actually seeking the same thing. It's important for us to isolate that this is a thread that is good for the country. And we can work to make it better. So we can make Mr. Sade happier. I think I've said enough. So once more, thank you to the church, thank you to the family, thank you to the choir. I've hardly ever commented about that choir. It's a wonderful choir, always available when they're needed to do these state functions. Thank you very much. Just also encourage citizens, God is not missing when he chose to put us together. He knew exactly what he was working at. So we must just accept that we are bound together. Let's do what is good for God's people, wherever they are. So thank you very much, colleagues, those who are here. And Madam Ambassador Dr. Kaseva Sato, doors are open. We had a very good conversation with her in Paris in a dingy office at the airport. So those conversations we had, I will not 
say anything of the issue, the content, can we move on those conversations that we had in Paris? Thank you very much.